Hey everyone, it's Marco again, back once again from my color screen, bringing you easy to follow Android home screen tutorials. Today I'll be featuring a screen of the day by Pipoto. Pipoto, I'm not really sure how to say that, but he's made a really great screen called Relief. Here it is, as you can see, it is really dark, really good if you've got an AMOLED screen. So let's go see what all the fuss is about. Hmm? Okay, starting from our first screen, this is a two screener, looks pretty cool like that. So at the top we can see, if we zoom in a little bit, We've got our status bar that's transparent, looks really cool. And below that we've got our clock and then beneath that we've got our weather displaying a really cool looking weekly forecast with the really good looking Climacon icons. Below that we've got our agenda displaying the day of the month, really easy to see as well as your simple calendar widget here, very easy to read as well. If we have to focus on the dock, look at these amazing looking icons by the author himself. They're really sleek and black and opening, well just tapping them will bring up any of your wanted icons. There's quite a few to choose from as well. And then finally we've got the Google action bar that when tapped will bring up your app drawer. Simple as that. So let's move on to the next screen. Starting with the top, we've got our little stats area that displays our, how much battery we've got left in minutes and then as well as our memory usage as well as this cool looking battery indicator right there as well, looks really good. Moving below that we've got our news reader here, it's a Feedly widget, it looks really good, it's got this cool looking image here as well as some text and then when tapping it, it brings up other images, really looks really really good. And then finally we've got our soccer or football scores here you can choose any league that you want and just have them right here obviously you don't have to have this you can also have a twitter widget as you can always just rename these so would you like to know how to recreate this home screen well let us begin with today's tutorial okay starting from your stock nova launcher don't worry if you're using apex or holo launcher you can still do this exact same screen so i'm going to be starting off with the nova settings you're going to go into your options here at the bottom Select your Nova settings. Okay, so I'm gonna quickly run by the Nova settings that you'll need to be changing. The first thing you wanna do, it's a good thing to have if you've got Nova, you wanna hold down your volume button and you'll see labs menu enabled. What you wanna go in there is now go into your labs menu and select big grid size options. I'm gonna to come to that right now. So we're gonna go into our desktop grid, go into our well, desktop, desktop grid, and you'll see here that I've made it a 14 by 12. That is because I'm not running a custom ROM that enables you to have a transparent background so this is going to probably be the hardest part for your for your setup just knowing what size to put it on obviously you've got a nexus 4 galaxy s3 this green this desktop grid size is going to be slightly different so what's good about enabling the large desktop grid icons or the big grid option is that now you can have up to 16 different grids and that just helps with just getting a close enough fit to the top status bar so we're just going to go okay now margins you want none shadows off home screens you want two home screens scroll effect i put it as cube but you can put it whatever you want that just looks pretty cool and then the things you want enabled are we resize all widgets widgets overlap and then overlap when placing overlap when placing will come in real handy we're going to come to that now dock now and enable the dock just because it keeps giving me an error about whenever i put an icon Near the bottom it disappears. So the same thing happens to you. You want to enable the dock. It just also helps from switching back and forth between screens. And dock icons are made it as six. Another thing you want to do is select a dock as overlay. And that's about it. Obviously you can always just turn on unread counts. So it's a little good thing to have. But that's about it. You want to go back. And there we have our screen set up. As you can see I've already got my dock set up. But don't worry. I'll explain it to you how to do it right now. Okay carrying on now we're going to be doing the dock settings. Obviously if you don't have a dock, you'll just place the icons there at the bottom, it's quite simple. You want to hold down on the home screen, select Nova Actions, and select the App Draw. As you can see, because my large grid size, it has already cropped off this icon. So if you hold down on it and say Select Edit, then select the picture, and then go into your gallery, you'll now follow by using opening up any of your gallery. Quick Pick works really well for me. And now you want to download the Google Action Bar icons and then copy them onto your phone. As you can see, I've already done that. I'm going to be using the HDPI ones. You can use whichever ones you want. But this one just comes with the action bar, well, the app draw icon there. So we're going to select it now. And you just want to go save. And then it'll go OK. And there it is. So obviously, if, you have, if you're using a dock or not, you just want to drag it into the corner there. Now for these icons here, you want to open up your app draw and then drag them accordingly. Or as always, you can just hold down on the home screen, select apps, 
And what's cool about Nova, you can go select multiple, select your email, your messaging, as well as your phone, go OK, and then place them over here and then change them to the icons that have been provided. Obviously, you don't have to have those three, but those are the ones that were on the screen. So they just look really cool as well. So it's obviously just to change the icon, you just hold down and select edit. And like I said, if they disappear, you want to enable that dock just to avoid the hassle. Cool, so next we want to be setting the wallpaper. You want to hold down, select wallpaper. Quite an easy thing to do. You just want to go into your quick pick, find where you've saved the wallpaper. You just have to select it. Doesn't really matter as long as it's touching the top and the bottom of the wallpaper. It doesn't matter what size it is. And you just go OK. It says setting wallpaper. And there we have it. So as you can see, my wallpaper scrolling is on and you can't even notice anything. So rather just leave it off. Great, next we can move on to the widgets and we'll start off with the UCCW widgets. Alrighty, for the UCCW widgets, you want to hold down, select widgets. And you want to scroll all the way down to the ultimate UCCW. Now it doesn't really matter what size you choose, but I recommend choosing a small size because obviously if you keep using the large size, you're going to run out of space. It's going to say no space available. So now you want to go open use zip, go into the folder where you've saved all the use zips here I have all of them here so let's start off with the dock the, the, well, the time one I've already imported it so I'll just go yes and it should appear like this obviously it's going to be tiny so you just need to resize hold down and select resize and then resize it accordingly so obviously if you you just want to check if you've got your status bar enabled that it's as close as you can get it to the status bar just looks a lot better if you can't get it looking like this, if there's quite a big gap, you need to want to start playing around with those desktop grid sizes. Great, so now you want to be adding in the rest of your UCCW widgets. I'm not going to be showing you how to add each of them because it's exactly the same process, but you have an order that you want to do it. You want to go time, weather, agenda, stats, news, and then your soccer, football, whatever you want to call it at the bottom there. Great, so once you've set up the first screen, it should look like this. Obviously, you're just missing the weather widget as well as your simple calendar widget at the bottom. So now, if you want to add in a widget, obviously, if you hold it down here, it's going to say you won't be able to add a widget. So a quick way of doing this is just go into your app drawer, select widgets, and then it's going to show up all your different widgets. So for the, for the weather one, you want to select eye in the sky forecast, and then you'll just select it, hold it down, and then drag it onto the home screen and I'll bring up the options. For some reason, my ROM is not letting me do a few of these widgets, so if you're unfortunate like me, you might just have to hold down, select resize, and then resize that a bit smaller, and now you'll be able to add a widget just by holding down select widget, and you want to go into eye in the sky. Remember, it's the forecast one. So you want to select forecast. Quick options here, you just want to select Climacons dark for the gray ones there. Text color, I just made it a gray and deselect rounded corners show edit dots and show refresh boom let's go okay if iron sky is not working with you you may want, might want to try beautiful widgets some people have had some errors with it so you just want to resize it to make it look all nice and then if you chose the second method of resizing it smaller your uccw you just want to drag it resize again hold it down in there center back just so you can still get into your iron sky widget next we'll be adding in the simple calendar widget so obviously you just go back into your your widget section here it's a simple calendar the size doesn't really matter 4x2 or 4x4 or whatever works pretty well you'll just drag it onto the screen here but like i said mine's not working too well so you just need to resize hold down and then drag it in like this now obviously it's not going to look the same like this so we just need to resize like this because if you resize it across fully you can get to the options it's on the right hand side there it's invisible but you can still get to it and so from here with our simple calendar options, there's just a few things you want to be changing. You want to go into your skin and then from here you want to select this top one here, semi clock multiple and then go options. So yeah, I just went into alternative layouts and I went for the one that goes event text, or event dates at the top only and then beneath that it's got event time and event text beneath that. So just go back, line color made it fully transparent, go back, day text width, you want it to be zero, go back again, go back. Now you want to go into appearance. Now your background color, you want that to be transparent as well. And then your font options, you want your all of your days to be that grayish color and your event text and event time to be a white 
a very wide color. You just want to make it as small text as possible. A 15 was okay for me, but maybe you want it to be a bit lower. And then a few more things that you might want to add. You want to show today, tomorrow, show day of the week, hide end time, show date, prepend with zero. Yeah, those just add to the effect. You want to just select the tick now and it should end up looking like this. Obviously, you, if you don't like it, you can just go back into your options again and then change it accordingly. So I'm just going to resize my UCCW back again and then go options, center back, boom can still get to that if I open it up. Okay, moving, we're gonna be moving on to the second page now. Okay, so your second page should look like this, just missing the widgets. So first one here is gonna be, you're gonna be using the Zupo widget. Now to be honest, this is my first time using it and I found it really, really good. So obviously again, you wanna just go into your widgets, hold down and then drag it onto your home screen just to saves the effort of dragging it like this. So it should come up with showing you what layouts you want. You wanna go with a blank one this won't have it here, but now next you want to go into layout and you want to select the little plus button. So from here you can add in text, rectangles, whatever. We want to go into text now and if we started, want to start off with the battery one, we wanted a Y offset to be negative 20. So that's all you need to change there. And you want to say edit text manually. So from here we're going to just erase all of this. So you want to type in battery like that and you want to say colon space B left, which if you look here, means time left for your battery, boom. Select the tick and it will set it for you. Next, you wanna go into your memory one and do the exact same thing, but except your Y offset, you want it to be 20. Edit text manually again, memory, colon, space. You wanna go into system and that's your free memory right there, it gives it to you. Obviously, you can change it whatever you want it to be actually. So you'll just select the tick again. One thing I wanna add, you wanna go into your text font family and you wanna change your font to Gotham Light. Now, I didn't have Gotham Light, so I went with my next alternative for Caviar Dreams, but they do look very similar. Don't worry, I'll provide a link for the font below. Also, one thing, you're going to be using the same fonts directory as your UCCW in case you have it. But if not, you create a folder called Fonts in your SD card and just put in all the fonts you want there. Great, so we're just going to go back now. Obviously, if you don't like something that you want to just edit it, you want to hold down and select the Delete button, deletes it. And obviously, if you just want to edit it, you just need to tap it in again. So your two should look like that. Go back. We're going to our main screen now. And you just want your widget background to be completely transparent. You do not need a background. And we'll just go back now. Remember, this is just a free version. So I can't save it. So next, we'll be moving on to our news. So for our Feedly widget, we just want to... Obviously, we can't hold down again. So we're just going to our actual widgets and add in the Feedly 4x2 widget drag it onto your home screen like this. Like before, if you can't, just go hold down, resize, resize it, put it in. So your widget should look like this. Obviously, if your UCCW skins aren't fitting so well, you just need to change your screen grid size and then resize accordingly. And as you can see, just tapping that icon, I really like this widget. It just scrolls through all of them like that. Finally, your soccer slash football widget at the bottom, you want to hold down. You want to go back into your widgets and you want the widget called F sheet or football sheet to be placed there like that. Once you have placed it and resized it and selected your preferred league, you want to just hold down on it and send it back just so you can have the top changed like that. So now one thing you want to add, obviously if you don't want that to say soccer, or you want to change it to say football, you want to select it or bring up the editor. You want to go select object, static text, Scroll all the way to text and now you just need to rename that to say football like that. Pretty cool, just select OK and there you have it. Just go back and it'll change to football. Just for my UK fans that are watching. So now if you want to like all the way that your UCCW skins look, you want to go into your options, hotspots mode, on. Great thing about that is now whenever you tap it, it's not going to bring up that UCCW editor. Pretty cool. And now finally regarding the status bar, if you're looking, it's quite transparent. Now, even though I'm running a custom ROM, it does not support a transparent bar. So for those people that don't have a rooted phone or one with a ROM that will enable a transparent notification bar, you want to download the widget called Super Status Bar. I just found it right now. I actually just found it yesterday. And if we go into our general options, we want to enable illusory, I think I'm saying that right, background. So that'll make it a transparent background. You might have to do, configure a few settings. You might have to turn on accessibility options, but it's quite a cool thing to have. Advanced, I just made my custom layout a centered clock and then go into your elements and you can change everything from here. So I just made the 
clock I made it transparent just so you well, obviously you don't need it and then at the top here I just made my battery to show text only so that is cool if you want a transparent notification about the top but you don't want to root your phone so a little hint for that cool and there we have our home screen set up sorry it's a bit long but you know how it goes the more elements there are the harder it is or the longer it is to set up so thank you very much guys for watching this is marco from my color screen don't forget to subscribe to the my color screen channel as well as join the twitter facebook and now the google plus community thank you very much guys for watching this is marco from my color screen and don't stop customizing